all matter has three different states. Those are solid, liquid and gas. And every morning for my breakfast, I enjoy all three states of water. My tea, the water in it, is liquid water. And the steam that comes out of it is gas. Steam can also be found when you exhale or blow out. So if you look at the window when you blow out, you can see the steam condense onto the window. Now, ice is very interesting. Um, it is the solid form of water. And it's a little bit different than other solids because usually the solid form of a substance will sink in the liquid. But ice is a solid but it floats in liquid. Very, very interesting. Every single substance has a boiling point. The boiling point is the temperature at which the substance starts to boil. And for water, this is 100 degrees Celsius. So if we look at our pot and our little meter that I've got there, as it gets closer to 100, it starts to bubble it starts to uh, steam so this is when it this is when it boils and the steam is the liquid water turning into gas which uh, is called evaporation look at that boil that is really cool and you can see there that on the actual rim of the pot where the temperature is slightly cooler the steam is again condensing back into liquid water, little water droplets. And we can see this even better um, if we put a lid on this pot. So uh, let's have a little look. We'll, um, we'll take that meter out really, really carefully. It might be hot. There we go. And let's see what happens when we put the lid on. There we go. The lid is cooler than the pot. So when the steam hits it, it turns into water droplets. It condenses and then the water drips back down. This is how rain is made. When a liquid becomes a solid, it's called solidification. And when water solidifies, it's called freezing. The interesting thing about water is that it seems to grow as it freezes. Let's take a look. So if we fill this cup up all the way to the top with water, there. So we see it's completely smooth at the top. And then we'll pop a little bit of cling film on top there as well. Seal it nice and tight, really, really carefully, don't spill the water. And then we'll pop it into the freezer and let's see what it looks like tomorrow morning. Okay, morning has come and let's see what our water looks like. Oh, it's grown. What's happened? That's very weird. Let's have a little look at it. So what has happened here is that liquid water, water in its liquid form, is actually more dense than water in its solid form as ice. So the ice expands as it freezes and this is why it looks like there's more stuff in the cup now. Ice just takes more space than water. Creatures that live on water, such as some kind of insects, um, use surface tension to hang out on top of the water. So uh, you can use a paper clip for this one, but I use something like this. So you can pop it there on top, and if you look at it, it's not actually floating, it is sitting on top of the water. And this is what is called surface tension. So the water forms a seal at the top, and you can put, put stuff just to hang out on top of the water. You can loosen it back up, and reduce surface tension by putting soap into the water like that. Oh, there it went. And we use this property of water when we clean stuff, because you always need some kind of detergent or soap when you wash things. Water is a very good solvent. Now, solvent is a substance that is used to dissolve other substances. So let's take a little look at this one. So we'll pour some water into this glass. And then into this glass we are going to add our solute. So this is the substance that will dissolve. So this is sugar, one and two spoonfuls. 
and then it starts to dissolve. Now we can make it dissolve faster by stirring the water um, so that the sugar will dissolve into it quicker. So let's start stirring this water here and see what happens to the sugar. In science we call this agitation. So we're basically annoying the water so much that it starts to dissolve the sugar. Let's see, is it done yet? No, there's still sugar, so we need to stir some more. Stir, 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 spin, 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 spin. When is it going to be done? This is taking an awful lot of time. Let's see. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Maybe now. There's still a bit of sugar there, but most of it is gone. Okay, so this is how water is a solvent. But we can make the sugar dissolve faster if we increase the temperature of the water. So here we've got some hot water. Be really careful with this. This is boiling water. See the steam? The steam shows us that the water is starting to evaporate. So it's very, very hot. It's almost boiling. And then we'll add our sugar again. One and two spoonfuls. There we go. You can already see that the sugar is dissolving faster. Um, it's starting to dissolve into the water. So now if we agitate it, let's have a look. Stir, stir, stir. Wow. That happened very quickly. So with stirring or agitation and with the temperature of our solvent, we can make things dissolve faster. Mm -hmm.